I took it up to the front seat and I was finishing it. That's part of it. It's just sometimes you come out and fish and it's just the stillness. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna maybe take this moment to have a snack. Okay, yeah, you too. Have a good night. up everything on here because it'd be going across the water it gets a bit cold and it is pretty cool out there I put my heater on but I don't I don't need to for this trip this will be short okay oh, yeah, I gotta put my my dishes away I took it up to the front seat and I was finishing it in a line because we we're about to move but I managed to finish it and wash it while I was sitting there I like to put everything away after I'm done, I find it's like, it's just it's part of the process for me. So I don't even think about it. I just do it. And then it's just done. Cool, man. Really cool. We gotta just stop and check out this little lake. <laughs> oh, it looks trouty. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Awesome. Makes me really want to cast my line out there. Let me see if I can. I'm just going to go check the regs real quick. Okay, we're in business. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm excited about this. Oh. Yeah, but that do. Never even tried this place before, but uh, it's a stocked lake, so we'll see. Oh, there's a fish jump. Oh no, that's a duck. I can hear the odd call, there it is, of a red-winged blackbird. And I don't think I've heard a red-winged blackbird since I was like in Ontario. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna chill. I'm just gonna fish for a bit. Oh, oh soak this moment in.
man, what a way to, you know, start a video or just, I don't know, just end the day. Today I had a, a beautiful day finishing off with the last video and um, just, you know, coming out here and I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I really want to come this way, but then as soon as I got here, I'm like, oh yeah, it's good. It's perfect. I got a little drive to make at him. Yeah, this is totally an improv pullover. Check this lake out, and here I am doing this. Um, but that's okay. I'll, I'll do a little night drive to where I want to go. And um, tomorrow I'm going to do a big forage for some stinging nettles. That's what I hope to get. So I got, I got some supplies. I, I just picked up some paper bags from a grocery store here in town and and I'm gonna use those to transport the nettles back to uh, Nick's place where I'm gonna hang them up and dry them. I got a big herb drying rack that I'm gonna put them in once I get them. And uh, yeah, that'll be great, man. I'll have a bunch of fresh nettles and some nettles that I can dry up and use for later on. And, uh, but anyway, this, this fishing thing, man, this is great. It's so beautiful too. I love the way the, the fog's coming in, like just the, the water vapors making that fog low laying right on the water back there. And Mark had to go up island. Hey, he would have loved this right now. But uh, I was having a chat with Mark about responsibilities. He's in a point in his life where, I mean, not in the, the exact same position I was in, but He's kind of in a similar position that I was in, maybe about, uh, uh, kind of like, say, I want to say like six months, eight months ago. And, um, I was facing a lot of things that I had to take care of in my life. And it was just, it seemed like a lot. And, uh, I wanted to go out and do things like this, but I, I, I struggled to do that at the same time. I still got out and was able to do this kind of thing, but not not all that much. And I decided to focus most of my intention on facing all the responsibilities I had in my life and shared a lot of that with you guys and some of it I didn't share with you guys. I just went out and did it. And um, anyway, he's kind of in that same boat right now where he's kind of like, oh, I'd love to come, but I, I, sh I really should do this. And I can see it in his eyes, and I know he really should do what he's talking about doing and face the responsibility. So he made the right call to go back up and deal with this uh, little clear out he's got to do in uh, the van from uh, Jeffy Bear. Jeffy Bear gave him his old van. So Mark's got to clean that thing out, let it kind of sit for a while, and redo it. I don't know, there's something going on on the inside, but. Anyway, uh, he's just gonna redo the entire interior of it. So he's gonna, he's up there ripping it all out. And uh, yeah. And here I am taking a day and a bit just to go and share some foraging stuff with you guys. And then I'm gonna go right back to Nick's place and face responsibilities again and carry on with his van project. Um, I got a bunch of stuff I want to do for my van too. I've been talking about here and there and I've done a little bit here and there. Like those new lights, those things are awesome. I'll probably hit the switch on those tonight as we drive down this trail. But uh, there's more stuff to do on the inside of my van and there's chassis stuff to deal with too. I can really hear something loose and knocking around in the front. It's pretty annoying and I don't really know what it is yet. I just, you know, I know that front driver's side strut bottoms out and stuff. But I don't know if that's the noise. Maybe there's the bearing shot in it, but I, I just have a hard time believing that because they're only just over a year old. They should last a lot longer than that. So I was like, ball joint? I don't know. I got to get it looked at. I don't know. I don't know why I'm whispering, guys. <laughs> I have a tendency of doing this when I'm out fishing or hunting. I just talk low, like, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think there's one over there. Look, look, look over there. <laughs> uh, 
and my friend Nick, he went out on a hunting trip, so, uh, yeah, he invited me, but I, I, I just, I didn't, I didn't want to go. I was really hoping to go fishing with Mark, um, and I don't feel let down that Mark changed his plans, you know, to go deal with this van. I think, I think that was a good move on his part, and, uh, we'll do some fishing. He's going to come back down to Victoria. We'll see. But uh, that's what he says, and uh, work on Nick's van as well. So we'll be tag teaming it down there, which would be a lot of fun, man. So I really hope he does show up and all that works out because we'll probably get a few days in, boogie off, go do some fishing for a day, and then go back and work again. Yeah. <laughs> I guess someone's just pulling over. I don't know. Anyway, there's a road right up there. No bites, nothing. But it's nice to sit here, man. That's part of it. It's just sometimes you come out and fish, and it's just the stillness. And I really, really dig and crave stillness right now. Jig this guy a little bit here. Guess I don't need to hold on to the tripod, but you know. here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Gotta say the magic words. I don't even know if this is coming over on audio. Actually, jeez, I'm so quiet. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I could try just putting some split shot on here and then checking it out with uh, with some weight. See how that goes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna try for that guy. Let's even target him. It's twice now he's jumped, so he's hanging out. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give this a couple more minutes and then uh, I might just carry on, starting to cool off. And uh, I haven't got a bite yet, so. What's the sound of those frogs, man? So I just pulled into a spot for the night and I'm going to curl up and go to bed. Now on the drive out here, um, I pass by exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Those lights are awesome, by the way, man. I can't believe how much more I can see with them. And having the ones point off to the sides are really great when I'm going around a really sharp corner because it's practically pointing where I want to go anyway. And I could see all the flora and fauna as I was driving out here. So I saw a whole bunch of plants that I can forage for the one I'm after as well and I did pass by some patches so in the morning when I wake up I'll head on out and get some. Mm -hmm. 